most soils benefit from being remineralized, which is where we're bringing in minerals to boost nutrition that's been lost over the years for various reasons. And ocean water is one of my favorite ways to do that. And another favorite way is through rock dust. And I can show you some here. This one happens to be a really fine powder. So when you're looking for a rock dust, you want to find it from rocks that have a lot of different minerals in them, like a basalt, which is a volcanic rock, or even like glacial till, which is many different types of rocks that were brought together during a period of glaciation, and so they can, there's a lot of minerals in there. So what you do is you find this rock dust, and you apply, often the recommendation is 50 pounds per thousand square feet. Although I have seen some research where as little as five pounds was applied and still amazing benefits were seen, like increased yields and more nutrition and, and all of the benefits we would hope to expect when we're bringing more minerals into our soil. Uh, and what you do is just spread it all over your soil. And so the best way to get the dust is to go to a quarry. There's quarries all over the place. And they're mining this stuff, and, and the dust is actually a byproduct for them. So you can get it, it's very inexpensive, there's not, not much for them to do with it. So it doesn't cost much. Uh, but when you do that, you want to test to see what you're getting to make sure it's worthwhile to use on the garden, to make sure it has a lot of minerals in it. Um, otherwise, if you're just doing a small garden, then it can be worthwhile to buy it in a bag, then you know what you're getting. Uh, and that's what this is here. Either way, what we're doing is with this dust is we're really kind of mimicking what happens during periods of glaciation or during volcanic eruptions when the minerals get redistributed back into the soil.